Yo, what's poppin' my people? It's your boy Crooks the Great back at you guys with another banger of a UFC 4 video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys some of my grappling tips in UFC 4. And we're gonna be using the champ Islam Makhachev, and we're gonna be going up against the featherweight champ and the guy who's gonna be stepping up and fighting Islam in real life in Alexander Volkanovsky. We touch gloves and we're underway. Now, uh, I get this question a lot. Can I get some grappling tips, Crooks? How do I get damage on the ground? How do I control somebody on the ground? So that's what we're going to be working on here. We immediately go for that clinch. Get the takedown. Very good spot. Jump into the guard. And now we're not going to waste too much stamina. And we're going to let him pull us back down into guard really where we want to be at early in this first round. Now, my biggest tip for those of you guys that are newer to the game and that aren't really grapplers is learn stamina management on the ground. Don't waste a lot of your stamina. It's very, very important as we get top mount right there. We deny that get up to, uh, to manage your stamina on the ground. That's the most important factor because if you're posturing up like this, as you see, I'm not wasting a lot of my stamina. They get free transitions like that. So you have to learn how to manage your stamina on the ground. And we're going to get side control. And that leads me into my next point which is going to be the grappling advantage meter that's up at the top. If you guys look at the very top of the fight right here, you see how it's going from blue to red, red to blue. That's letting you know who has the grappling advantage and whose transitions are going to be quicker if somebody tries to go and get into another position. So if I have it, like I did right there, my transition to top mount is going to be a little bit harder to deny, uh, but he is going to have it if he blocks that transition and then goes for a transition himself. So it goes one way or the other based off of what you're doing so highly highly recommend if you guys are newer to the game going into practice mode taking the the ai down and really getting comfortable with learning what works with that grappling advantage meter punches those little baby punches uh they work very very well as you see us raining down ground and pound damage uh the baby punches that's why you see him punching with that hand he's trying to get ga uh to go onto his favor but we're able to hit that side control transition. He's going to try to hit the get up onto the cage right there. But we deny that thing. Now we're back in backside. Now we're just trying to take our time right here. We're denying all these transitions. Which is going to waste his stamina. It's going to start draining on his stamina. We're posturing up and raining down some good ground and pound damage. If not landing on his head into the block. And then we're on the denials right here. Just staying patient. We've pretty much been on, on top of him for most uh, most part of this round. Now you see us getting that heavy ground and pound damage in here with Islam. We're not going to be able to get the finish. <clears throat> but it's going to put a sense of urgency in my opponent here. And now as he was trying to block the posture up, we're able to gain the back position right there. We go for back flat. Now normally I'd go for a rear naked choke. But just for the sake of the video, we're going for the ground and pound damage here. Getting some nice ground and pound damage in. He's going to roll right there. With five seconds left, we're sitting in a good spot, and we're just going to ride it out. And that's the end of the first round. <clears throat> now, you see, all of those things that I was talking about all went into my favor. I was able to control him. I was able to control that GA meter. I was able to, to control the positions, and my stamina is still really, really high uh, at the beginning of the second round. Now, in this second round, I know he's going to make it a little bit tougher for me to get that takedown just because he knows if we get him down, we're going to be able to keep him there. So it's going to start to open up uh, combinations for us on the feet. Because as you can see, he's denying, trying to deny the takedowns early enough to where we don't even get there. So we drop him right there with a clean combination. Hurt him. Not wasting the stamina. And we're right back where we want to be. And this is what I've talked about multiple times in my streams, guys. Is In order to be a successful, dominant grappler, you have to have somewhat of a stand-up game. If you're just going in and you're just a grappler and you have no stand-up on the feet, most of the time, you're going to become a spammer. I'm not going to lie. As this guy hits a beautiful transition that I did not expect him to do, uh, you're going to become a spammer most of the time if, if you don't have, uh, have stand-up skills at all. So here we were able to hit that sweep. We were able to get back on top. And you see, I'm just taking my time, punching to get that GA meter to go to my side. I block that transition as he tried to sweep us to full guard. We get a full GA meter. We go immediately to side control. We block that transition to go back to half guard. Elbowing him in the head right there. 
But this guy's doing a good job of blocking Crucifix. Nice, nice work. He decides to roll. So now we need to stay patient right here. Because this is the this is what I like to call a stall out position. This sprawl position right here is a very, very dominant uh, stall position. And what I mean by a stall position is it's very hard for you to advance to a dominant position out of this if you don't do it early when you get into the sprawl position. So you see, I'm trying to fake, trying to get to the backside, but I don't have any GA here. He has all the GA. So I'm trying to gain some by going for, by re-sprawling it with the down transition. So we're gonna let him get back up and immediately jump back into guard. That's what I would recommend you guys do if you guys are grapplers. If you get in that stall position, which is sprawl, get up and try to jump back into their guard. But most of the time, elite level guys are just gonna get back to their feet before you can jump into their guard. So here we're able to regain half guard. He gets us back into sprawl. We're gonna punch and try to go for that backside transition, but he blocked it. He's gonna go for the get up where we block it, which is gonna give us the GA that we need to get that backside transition. So now we're back in a dominant position. We're raining down some ground and pound strikes into that block. We're gonna posture back down so that way he doesn't get the free get up transition. And now we're waiting for him to make a movement. He did block the posture up right there. But he doesn't go for a transition, so we reposture up. Going for the ground and pound damage, and we're getting some heavy, heavy ground and pound damage in there as the second round ends. Very, very dominant, 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 dominant grappling. Uh, very, very gra dominant grappling from us there in the second round. So here in this third round, we're going to try to get right back to it because he's going to try to go balls to the wall and try to get us out of there on the feet. So here we're just taking our time. Look, he's throwing big strikes in the overhands. Catches us with a clean two-piece, but we're okay. The stamina consumption is looking very, very good. Shoot for a double leg, and we're able to get it success successfully again there with Islam. So now we're right back to where we want to be. Back in his full guard, punching, and look at that GA meter filling up. So it's going to make it easier for us to get a transition, but he was good with the pre-deny right there. We blocked the backside transition. We tried to posture up, but now he's doing a better job of blocking us from trying to advance. So we're still punching again that GA. Now we're faking, and we're able to get to half guard. We're going to block this that transition to sprawl right there, and this time we're going to go to top mount. We've been going to side control, side control, side control, and now we're in the top mount position trying to rain down heavy ground and pound damage here on Volkanovski. He's able to get us back down. And now this is going to put him in a very bad spot, but a very advantageous spot for us because if we block a transition, we're going to break through that block as we're doing right here. He's able to get us to posture down. But now I think he's scared to make a transition, so we're just going to posture back up. And that head health has not rebuilt up, and we're getting that heavy ground and pound damage in right here. But we're not going to be able to get the finish. So now we're punching to gain that GA. We fake a posture up, we go for the down posture up, and now that head health is in a lot of trouble. We're going for the finish here with Islam, and we're going to be able to get the dub right there, guys. But that's it for the video, guys. If it, these tips did help you guys out, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section, as well as slap that subscribe button and slap that like button if you're new. But until the next video, guys, enjoy the rest of your guys' day, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this from. And I will see you guys in the next video.